Hey folks, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Natasha and I do book things here. Today's video is another Stephen King Sunday and I'm going to be talking to you guys all about my favorite editions that I've started collecting because three of the four of them have finally come in from Amazon. Finally. Yeah, just basically show you guys them because they're fucking beautiful. So, so I've mentioned in one of my past videos that I am collecting certain editions of Stephen King's um, that I just really like. I think that are really beautiful. The main editions that I've started collecting are the Hotter, I think Hotter or Hoarder. I've heard both Hotter or Hoarder, which I'm not really sure which one. I say Hotter just because the other one reminds me of Hodor. Um, <laughs> anyway, rest in peace. These are from the UK 2007 and so it's kind of an absolute pain in my ass to get them to Canada. I love them so much. So this is what they look like. Ah, ooh, ha. They are the beautiful, colorful spines, amazing text. I just am like absolutely fucking obsessed with them. Um, I have two more coming to me. I have Pet Cemetery coming as well as Salem's Lot. I really know what to say other than they're so pretty and I discovered them and the second that I saw them, I like went on this crazy manhunt on like Amazon, um, a books and whatever and I made a master list. I have it on my phone um, and it's all of the works that are available in this cover because not every single thing that he's written are in this edition um, but there's about from what I understand 40 of them. Over time I am going to be collecting them all and you will see them you know, arranged somewhere on these shelves. Collecting them in publication order. So I'm starting with Carrie, then, you know, Salem's Lot, uh, The Shining, The Stand, which I have here, and like working my way down. Um, Pet Cemetery, which I do have coming to me because they're planning on doing a movie adaptation and I just don't have a physical copy of that book. And so it was like, whatever, I just want it, so. So I ordered these all used on Amazon Canada, um, which means that the shipping is a little bit less for me um, than if I were to buy from Amazon Dot com. It's also a little bit less than if I were to buy them directly from a books because the problem that I've had with finding these editions is that um, the actual books themselves are fairly inexpensive. Some of them are like a dollar or two dollars or three, um, you know, around the max, you know, of, of the cheaper end of them around seven dollars. Then it's the shipping that kicks my ass because typically what's happening is that they're shipping from the UK, um, which means like I put 16 books in my cart and it was only like $20 but then the shipping to Canada was $140 which is just like fucking ridiculous. Um, so I obviously didn't buy all 16 of them. Just don't have $200 to pay for shipping essentially. Like it's just insane. So yeah, so this is what they look like. Um, they have this beautiful font that I'm just obsessed with and they all have a little image on them that relate to the book. So this one is obviously like a, you know, a prom couple. This one was in good condition on Amazon and the spine is slightly cracked, but I mean, it's nothing crazy. This is one of his smaller works so I can understand like how it would crack very easily. Um, which is fine. Now that I have it, I am going to be annotating them all like with my own writing and stuff. So um, I'm not too upset as long as the spines look like mostly good. So Carrie is the first one and it will be the first book that I read. The next one that I grabbed is The Shining, which has the wasp or hornet, I believe. Um, on there and this one is my favorite because of the color obviously I like yellow I like mustard tones and this is just so beautiful this one was in very good condition as well um, the spine is not that cracked there's like a little bit of cracking so yeah I'm actually shocked that they're in as nice as condition as they are um, which brings me to the last one because this is the one that I had a little bit of issues with I paid a little bit more for this one um, this one was around I think like ten dollars or something where the other ones were only like two dollars again it's the shipping that you pay for which is insane and stupid but whatever this is the stand which is one of King's biggest works. Um, I think it might be his biggest possible. Um, this is 1300 pages. It's a brick. It's actually bigger than it. And like, you know, this is a mass market paperback in 1300 pages. So I find so great about this. This was listed as a very good copy. And quite frankly, it's almost perfect because the spine was never broken like whatsoever. Um, it's, there's no creasing or cracking in it at all and somebody on Instagram mentioned that what happened was they probably bought this put it on their shelves and then never read it because of the size of it which you know I can definitely agree with the only thing that happened with this is when it shipped it got like a little bit uh, messed up on the corners like I'm not 
not upset by that. But what I am slightly upset about is the fact that Amazon Canada kind of has some liars on there. Because I bought through Amazon Canada, I bought through a place called World of Books Canada and then also one that was Awesome Books Canada. And both of them say that they ship from within Canada and actually from Ontario, which is where I'm from. Yeah, no, that's a lie because I was sitting here um, thinking that they came from Ontario, which means that I should get them within like five days more like at max. So these took about three weeks to come in. I still have one that I'm waiting on, um, but I got them in and they didn't ship in like great condition either. Like this is in literally like a plastic bag. Um, the other one is also in like a plastic bag. But upon reading where they're actually shipped from, uh, this one is shipped from United Kingdom. So this shipped directly from the UK. And this one was shipped uh, International Royal Mail. So also from the UK. So I'm just kind of like, well, <laughs> all right then. The fact that they didn't come from Canada makes sense, but it's also a lie on Amazon saying that they ship from within Canada. Just keep that in mind if you're Canadian, you're buying books from Canada, um, you run the risk of them not coming actually from Canada. You know, that being said, they're used books from 10 years ago. I'm actually surprised that they're in as good quality as they are. And, um, you know, I'll keep you guys updated as I get more and more of them. It's kind of like a slow build as I collect them. So I'm going to start with Carrie, obviously. I'm going to try to work my way down. But just know that I might grab a random Stephen King here and there <laughs> and read that. Um, also, any of his works released past 2007 obviously aren't in this edition. So, but I want to attempt to read them mostly in order. So... I was kind of waiting for these books to sort of tell you guys that, but that's kind of the plan is to read them somewhat in order. But yeah, these are my absolute favorite. They are my children. I love them. I'm obsessed with them and I want them all. So yeah. Next week, I will likely have read Carrie by then. So I'm going to come on and talk to you guys about the book. Um, I'm also planning on watching all of the movie adaptations for Carrie as well. And so I might also talk about that. So one thing I do want to mention quick, as I read through Stephen King's, I'm actually going to be doing a little bit of research as to, you know, why he wrote each book or any sort of like interesting facts I can find out about the book itself. Um, Carrie definitely has a lot of interesting facts because it was his first um, big book that was published. Lots of a book review as much as I talk about fun things about the book. So you're not getting just reviews, you're getting facts. But yeah, let me know how you guys are doing in the comments down below. Um, do you like these? Are you obsessed with them as I am? I love them so much and I'm just going to keep them probably in my background like here. We'll just move around all over the place. <laughs> I do hope you guys are doing good and until my next video, I will talk to all of you soon. Bye!